It was a few years ago when he, Nelly Furtado, the pop singer actually, sang about how very good things must come to an end. Now, that song absolutely has nothing to do with metal, but I think she kind of made to a point. Sometimes bands quit, and sometimes they quit way too quickly. Luckily, there is a silver lining to this grey cloud thing which is going on with some of the bands, and that silver lining is called Comeback. Now, not all comebacks are good, but sometimes they are exactly that. Welcome and Ocean's Cosmic World Mother. And Ocean's had, um, say, quite an effective energetic season. Not exactly a peak season, but very, very much like burning in a bright flame uh, around the, when the millennium changed. During five years of existence back then, I mean, they did exist way longer than that, but during those five years they did four albums, gigs, tours, whatnot. And they made good, melodic, synth-filled black metal the Finnish way. Kind of a Swedish Finnish thing, but anyway. But then the band quite soon started to um, vanish, and uh, more sooner than you, than you realized, the band was gone. They started to do different bands, as like they had done before and Oceans. So there were bands like Magenta Harvest, Fester Day, Havoc Unit, other bands, you know. So these guys kept themselves busy, but and Oceans was gone. Or that's how it seemed to be for a long, long time. Now, in 2018, something started to happen. A band had suddenly a couple of new members. Some old faces had been already gone. And 2019, there was this self-titled limited edition EP that came out. Band played also at Steelfest. They made a good show. And suddenly it was like everything was right there. Uh, comeback release, comeback gigs, and uh, a new album in the making. But this start of a new era was also an end to an era. Because the original vocalist, Kenny, got suddenly got fired. Now, I heard two sides of the story. And I'm not going to repeat it here. But let's just say things are not always that black and white as it seems to be. However, soon Kenny was replaced by this guy over here, Matthias Lilmons who is also known for bands such as Fintroll and Dispute, and um, no new beat to the genre either. But basically, the band now features two original members, both guitarists, these two handsome fellas here, then a new drummer uh, right here, and a kind of a new keyboard player who have been part of the band for a couple of years, and also one of the mid-level member, <laughs> I'm joking, uh, who has always also been in the band for quite a long time, but not original members. So basically three or four eras, depending how you want to say it, of members doing a new album. And who would know 2020 would be one of the best years for Rand Oceans, at least when it comes to the album. Let's take a look at the band's metal archive side while I'll continue my rumblings. As you can see, the band was started already in 1995, so this is technically speaking the 25th anniversary of the band's career. Let's just zoom a little bit so you can actually get to see what's going on here. During those times, band's logo has changed and the band has gone through a lot of uh, member changes. I mean, if you take a look, this is how it looks nowadays. But past members, well, it's quite a list and uh, members have come and gone. And obviously, these kind of changes are obviously to be reflected in the music as well. Now, if you take a uh, this discography, you will see that the first years, after a couple of demos, boom, 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 boom. Very, very energetic season. And then it kind of started to cease until the comeback. But this is all about Cosmic World Mother, which is a 45-minute uh, album, being the fifth in line, and once again back to Season of Mist with this kind of a track list, actually 47 minutes. Sometimes I just forget what I'm seeing in my CD player. Anyway, the thing is, you will we would expect sort of changes with the music, because, I mean, after all, if you have like 16 years of pause with the music, you would start to think that things are gonna change. Now, there are two surprises here. First of all, 
not things have changed that much. And the other is, even with the lineup change, even with the main vocalist change, things are not that different. So two basically very positive surprises, even with these changes. But it's also quite okay to say that this is very safe album being and oceans. And by safe means this is a kind of a safe bet both for a listener and also with the, with the band. Now Cypher, which just happens to be my favorite and oceans album, is also very different from the other albums. And this is much more like skipping that part. So give the uh, movie or TV series comparison. Sometimes movies just go sequel by sequel and sometimes they're like hey okay this is not the part of official canon let's just remove it that has happened with stuff like star wars and whatever not necessarily with the movies what some games and books and comics now this could be what's exactly going on with and oceans if you remove cypher from the whole discography this would be like the next logical step in fact this is something like even ember could have been doing right after in the night side eclipse or maybe after anthems it's synth-filled, it's uh, melodic, it's mostly fast-paced, but also quite diverse black metal. But definitely lots of synths, lots of melodies. And even if the synths are very much modernized, the kind of style is something that could have been already happening in 1995 or 1999. And I don't think there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, I am one of those people who were disappointed in what Ember started to do. So... It's like, like, it's like we had this uh, space and need and time for bands like And Oceans to step up. Like, hey, we need this classic, synth-driven, melodic, kind of a symphonic black metal. But these guys who started it are now gone. They want to go with progressive or whatever and they just quit. And we are in desperate need to have more. And then And Oceans go like, I'm a knight in white horse. Get my help, I'm here to help you. And boom, they deliver. Now, it's interesting to uh, ponder what could have been happening through uh, these years if And Oceans hadn't ever quit. But that's kind of a pointless. What we have here is, in essence, in my opinion, is one of the best two albums of And Oceans of all time. Like, no means, there, I don't mean that there's nothing wrong with those previous albums, but I think the years have saved this band to be even better than what they were back in the 90s or early 2000s. Because now they seems like the strong writing is a little bit better and how it sounds, you know, the production and even vocals. I mean, they are a little bit different. They're kind of a more safe, I guess, with compared to Kenny, the previous original vocalist. But after a while, you don't even think about it. I saw the guys play live in March here in Turku at Turku Saatan 8th uh, festival. And, I mean, he delivered already on stage. So it clearly shows that the vocalist has his experience with the previous bands. He's no, un, you know, uh, a newbie with, like, uh, I don't know what I'm doing kind of a feeling. But he's there, taking the stage with the rest of the guys, as he, he had been in the band for 10 plus years. So everything is good in And Ocean's Camp, at least from my perspective as a, a fan of this kind of music and as a review guy. And to be honest, I wouldn't have dared to even expect this level of uh, brilliance with this album. I'm not going to say and or lie that this is the best album of the year. Because, well, I'm really picky and sorry, those slots are already taken, more or less. Prove me wrong. But Cosmic World Mother, no matter if it's not album of the year contender, is very, very solid, very well made even if not so surprising album. Throughout these 47 minutes and then some, you will be enjoying the synths, the guitar melodies, the pace, diversity, and those good vocals. Everything is right there. There's basically nothing you could need, maybe except for the, uh, the surprise element, which is not there. Is it a big flaw? I don't consider it a flaw at all. I mean, I'd rather take a safe album, which is solid and good, than something that surprised me in a wrong way. And trust me, I have had plenty of those during my years of a sort of a review guy. So, with my words, without them or not, otherwise, give this one a chance. It's one of the best albums of the year, even if not the album of the year contender. Really solid work by solid guys. So, looking more, and I hope this time and Oceans won't quit just after five more years. With these words, 
take a look, take a listen, and enjoy. And in case you just happen to like the band so much, why don't you take a look at the interview? I will be doing a new one, I hope, later on with the new vocalist, but until that, go back to the year 2019 and enjoy some old stuff. See ya, and bye-bye. <laughs>